Hi friends, today's topic of discussion is meter in circuit. So we will learn the construction as well as the working of meter in circuit. As you can see, these are the elements of hydraulic circuit in the symbolic form. So what we will do, we will arrange this to form the meter in circuit. Okay. So by that we will learn the construction as well as the working of meter in circuit. So as you can see the actuator is over here that is the DA cylinder that is the double acting cylinder and here is flow control valve which is variable flow control valve with check valve and 4 by 2 DC valve which is solenoid operated and pressure relief valve pump and the filter which we will put in the return line and the oil tank. So now I will start with the DA cylinder that is double acting cylinder. I will take it on the right hand side and then we will arrange it to form the meter in circuit. So as you can see over here I have taken the DA cylinder that is the double acting cylinder on the right hand side. Now this variable flow control valve with check valve I will take and I will put in the primary line which is going to the cylinder okay so I have put it here okay so now the liquid which is going in the cylinder will be controlled by controlling the liquid what we can control is the speed of the cylinder that is the speed of the piston in the forward direction so by putting flow control wall we are controlling the flow and hence we are controlling the forward movement of the piston and here we will put the 4 by 2 DC valve okay so here we are putting it so now the liquid going in the cylinder and coming out of the cylinder is connected and how the liquid will come to the circuit is from the tank via pump. The pump will get the liquid from the tank and deliver it to the circuit and there will be a pressure relief valve at the outlet of the pump in case there is a high pressure which needs to be relieved. So here will be pressure relief valve and when the liquid will return to the tank it should come via a filter that we will put in the return line so that the oil which is coming back is filtered before it enters the tank because the same oil will return to the circuit. Okay. So now finally this is the tank and our meter in circuit is completed. So as you can see the working will be as follows the liquid or the oil which is there in the tank will be sucked by the pump and given to the circuit okay and the DC valve is in this position and it is going through flow control valve where the flow is controlled and the extra liquid is given through this check valve back to the circuit okay so then the flow is controlled so the speed of the piston in the forward direction is also controlled okay and the liquid which is coming from rod end side goes to the tank by the passing through this filter and when we change the position to this from the pump the liquid goes to the rod end side of the cylinder and the liquid from the piston end side comes out but does not flow through the flow control it comes through this line where check valve is there and then it comes through the filter and goes back to the tank but only the forward direction speed of the piston is controlled because of the flow control valve therefore it is called as meter in circuit because the liquid going inside this side is metered or controlled that is the flow is controlled that's why it is called as meter in while retracting this when the piston is retracting 
the liquid which is coming does not go through the flow control valve but goes through this check valve okay and the backward or the retracting speed is not controlled so this was meter in circuit hope you like the video we will again meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye